So this over here is the Gila monster, Heloderma suspectum. Am I right, Ray? Yep, suspectum, so, suspectum. Suspectum, suspectum. So there's obviously different subspecies of that then, I'm guessing. I yeah. didn't even actually know that. <laughs> These are the reticulated Gilas, okay. and you get the banded Gilas, which are suspectum symptom. Wow, pretty cool. What's also interesting about these guys, yes, they are venomous lizard, but they're mainly like, what's it, um, fossorial. So they spend most of their time underground and they're really, really lethargic. So this is a beautiful lizard. I'm really stoked to be this close to one. They're really, really cool. Got cool personalities. And if I pick him up here, just behind the head and put my fingers underneath here, they won't, he won't be able to bite me turn around and bite but you can see the venom glands which are on the lower jaw there not actually on the top jaw like over here where snakes have theirs so these are just huge powerful muscles really cool and animals. also when they bite they get locked jaw so that's one thing you don't want <laughs> no you don't want them to bite on you and just chew and hang on so let's put him back that color. look at that beautiful king cobra Boy, isn't he crazy? We'll see. Let's see. Such stunning snakes and really intelligent and inquisitive. Look at that. Hey. Where are you going now? Very, very inquisitive snakes. As you can see, he's got a direction where he wants to go and he just wants to go that way. Probably back into his tub. Yeah, he wants to go back. <laughs> oh, there we go. You made work nice and easy for us. Huh? Hello. <laughs> he's like, no, I am not doing any of this. I'm not a TV person. Come on, boy, don't be like that. No intention of biting. No intention of biting whatsoever, eh? He just wants to go. Where do you want to go, buddy? So what's his name? Does he have a name? No. He's no. just my big boy. Big boy? He is I that. love the snakes too, but he's my favorite out of my collection. Very, very cool. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Now we're hitting up a bit. Oh, there we go. There's the nice hood. Let me try and face him towards you. And let's see what we can do from there. Come on. There we go. Yeah. You can show him a foot again. Yeah, I think he'll hit up. Not for my foot, though. Alright. No. Yeah, he forgot to bow to King. So, as you can see, this king is really chilled and doesn't want anything to do with us. And who says snakes are aggressive? Look at that. Hey, buddy. Hey. Perfect lighting, though. Not. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you the Central American Bushmaster, the Shesus Stenophrys. His head is right over here, so... I'm just going to turn that around so he doesn't jump out toward me. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful snakes. This is a male and he's currently in shed. Really, really stunning. Look at that. Very different to the black-headed Bushmaster which we saw earlier that we unboxed for Ray. This snake is one of the only snakes recorded to actually chase humans which is pretty cool. Dean Ripper who was like the Bushmaster legend recorded them chasing people down and that was thought to be because people in the Amazon were 
barefoot and these animals have incredible heat sensing abilities so they chase the feet as food I guess. So an awesome snake, really really heavy. The female is much larger than this and I can imagine how handling her will be. Such a cool snake. I'm using the Venom Defender gloves that I was given and yeah that's just extra security. Such a cool snake. Look at those awesome scales. Very very calm also but they can change their demeanor at any moment and just kind of lunge forward at you. Of course he's not playing along. <laughs> So let's put him away and show you some other cool, very cool snakes here with Ray. Thank you. The temperature is also pretty cool which changes how they behave. So they're a lot more chilled and less active in the cold temperatures. It's not freezing, but it's just the perfect temperature to handle them. So over here we have literally one of my ultimate favorite snakes on the planet. This is Bitters Poviocula, the Ethiopian mountain adder. I am so stoked and so blessed to be able to see these snakes even, let alone like handle it because they are incredibly rare and so beautiful. It's kind of like a green puff adder, but just like so, so cool. I mean, look at that. We are hoping that this female is actually gravid. She is so stunning, but also quite sassy. Got a bit of an attitude to her. Oh, I just love these snakes. I'm a huge fan of vipers, especially vipers in the family of bitters. So your like old world African vipers. Oh. So your gaboons, your rhino vipers, all of that are in the same family as these guys, Bitus paviocula. Recently, there was a snake similar to this called Bitus harina that was described. It was once thought as a different locality of paviocula, but now it's been described into a new species. And that's also a snake that is super stunning. Um, I don't think there are any in captivity as of yet, or aren't supposed to be. But yeah, so such stunning snakes. So cool that Ray has the opportunity to work with these guys and breed them. So it also plays a huge role in conservation for the future. So people don't take them out of the wild because there's no need because there's a huge captive population. I mean, look at that. Is that just not the most beautiful snake ever? I am so blown away. They are absolutely incredible. Gentle, gentle movements are the way to go with all snakes. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> so cool. I love these snakes. And you get quite variable colors on these guys. You get from yellow ones to green ones to pretty dark ones like this girl over here. But I don't want to upset her too much. So let's put her back in the enclosure or back in the tub to get her back into her setup and then we'll say bye to Ray because this has been an awesome little adventure and I'm really stoked super super stoked but we'll come and film a full episode on Ray's full collection I know you guys will love that let's put her back Okay, hold on, that's good. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of it. Thanks, Ray, yeah. for the awesome hope day. You enjoyed. I hope you enjoy your <laughs> Melanosophala, black headed Bushmaster. Yeah, because, definitely. You know, I've tempted <laughs> yeah. to keep that beauty. But well, that's my baby. <laughs> no, soon it'll be my baby. Soon. I'm working on it. <laughs> 
So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to go follow Ray and his Instagram page, links will be down below. Yeah, 100%. And my Instagram also. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire, and live it.